Choosing the right mug can be hard and expensive. $30, $30, $30, $30. That's $150 of mugs sitting in front of me trying to figure out which one can be the best one, could be the hard one. So welcome to Convenience Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you wanna brew with at home. And today I have every single mug that Fellow Coffee Products has released. And I'm gonna go over all of my opinions on every single one of them, including the brand new one that has a straw. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I do wanna say, please like and subscribe. That helps me continue producing more content as a YouTuber. Um, if you're looking at purchasing these, please use the affiliate links below. I make a small commission at no extra charge to you. And if you really like this content and you really want to help my problem of purchasing mugs and support me in that, please consider donating on Patreon. Um, that really helps me buy all of these mugs in order to help you choose the right one that you want to brew with. Um, so moving on from this, these are all about 35, 30 to 40 dollars somewhere in there making all five of these $150 give or take on that. All of them are different. Most of them have interchangeable lids. So we're just gonna go ahead and start with the original OG one that Fellow released quite a while ago. And this is the Carter, Fellow Carter Move mug. No, sorry, Fellow Carter mug. And it comes with this little bag here. One of my favorite things that does not come with any other mug. Um, I just really like this loop strap and it's nice to hold. Um, so this one is a completely leak proof mug um, and it has a wide base with a thin lip for you to drink coffee from. One of the things I love about this one is this is the perfect kind of mug to like just drink from like a coffee cup. It's nice and wide so it feels really comfortable to kind of hold and drink from in my opinion on this one. So this is like the perfect you're going somewhere, you're sitting down and you want to like kind of really smell the aroma of your coffee and really experiencing it. This is not something that you'd walk with and drink from or drive and drink from. Um, you shouldn't drive and drink unless it's coffee, then it's fine. But anyway, uh, so this is like the perfect, like you want your coffee to stay warm a little bit longer and you're sitting at your house or you're going to work and you want to pour coffee in it and then drink it when you get to work. This is a perfect mug for that, um, but it's not the best for traveling or anything like that. Um, it doesn't fit in cup holders of cars. Um, well, it might fit in some, but it won't fit in a lot. It's not meant to fit in a lot. Um, so this is the original Carter one. From there, they then released this one, which is the Carter Move one. And this is the eight ounce version. You can get this in eight, 12, or 16, um, which I have in front of me here. Eight, 12, and then 16 uh, right here and we'll go into it a little bit. The nice thing about this one is this one has interchangeable lids. So from here on out, everything is compatible. Everything is compatible for these fellow Carter Move mugs, not the original fellow Carter mug. The diameter is different so the lid won't fit. Um, but this is the Move mug, which basically has a little splash guard in here and a fully leak proof lid that screws on similar to the original fellow Move or a fellow Carter mug. This is, gets really confusing with all these mugs. The next one they released is the 360 mug, which is uh, the same design. So all of these have that same lip, a thinner diameter um, than the original fellow Carter, and it just simply has a screw on lid. So it's meant to really kind of feel comfortable drinking from without a lid on. Um, this is the 360 move mug. Um, this is probably my least favorite one. Um, it has a little magnetic top here and this acts kind of as a splash guard and you can drink any way from it. Obviously this is not leak proof, but I find this incredibly uncomfortable to drink from. And I have a lot of people who would agree with me on that, but there are still some people who absolutely love this mug and the ability to drink from any direction from it. Um, the next one is the slide lock lid. So this is deemed as a completely leak proof mug, which I would say it's like almost there. Um, this isn't something that I would throw in the interior of my backpack, hoping that it wouldn't spill, but this would be something that I would be comfortable with carrying in the water bottle holder of my backpack because I don't think it will spill everywhere in there. Um, so this is a simple, you slide the lid back and you drink from it, um, and then you slide it forward and it locks again. Um, so it's mostly leak proof, um, easy to drink from, easy to drink from while walking, traveling, all that fun stuff. And um, the plus side to this one, or the downside to this one is you have to basically kind of use two hands to open it, um, one to hold the bottom of it and one to kind of push it forward, which I can find a little frustrating. So like if you're trying to drive, like you kind of like, I guess if it's sitting down, you can push it forward. But if you're like walking, you have to kind of free up both your hands to use it. 
Um, the next one is, I'm completely blanking on the name of it, but it's the newest one with the straw lid. And uh, the straw lid simply screws off and it only comes in a 16 ounce one, but it is compatible with all these other, well, it basically, you're gonna get a, I actually never tried this, so we're gonna experiment here. Here's a 12 ounce mug. And the straw does not fit on any other mug except for the 16 one. Because, sorry, it's a little dirty in here. Um, there's this little stopper right here, which then basically makes it so you can't push the straw any higher up. So it's basically sticking out this far at all times. You can shorten it. Well, no, you can't shorten it because then it won't screw in. Um, so it's basically fixed to one straw height, which I don't find a negative thing. Um, I feel like most people won't drink uh, a 12 ounce ice drink and want a straw. Maybe I'm different, but uh, I typically, if I'm making an ice latte or something along the lines of that, or if, if I'm making a latte, it's 12 ounces. Um, so that's perfect for, for this mug. If I'm making an ice latte, I make a 12 ounce latte with about four ounces of ice to chill it. Um, that making it 16 ounces, which makes this the perfect one. I really like this mug. You don't typically hear me say that with fellow products on their uh, mugs, um, but I really like this one. I don't know why. Um, this is like my first like travel one with a, a straw, but it's just, it. the straw is in there very nicely. It doesn't move around. Um, it works very well. It feels nice. Um, I like kind of how it's fixed in there. Um, I think it maybe would be nice to put it in a 12 ounce one, but it's not a big deal. Um, it's, if I were buying these mugs, they're like, they, they've almost kind of nailed it, almost. Um, I do have a couple problems that I wanna go through with this one, but I, I just really like the straw one. I find myself going to it a lot more than I have typically my other fellow mugs because it's just convenient and I don't know, maybe I just like the color. I picked out the color. Also, I did forget to give a disclosure here. A fellow did send me some of these for free um, in exchange for a review, but I had full freedom to say whatever I want. And those two that they did send me for free was the, this uh, slide lock lid and the 361, and I hate the 361. So um, that shows that I do have the freedom on it. I would not recommend buying the 361 or the lid ever. I think this one kind of almost needs to get discontinued. Um, just my opinion on that one. But anyway, I did pay for this one uh, free because I couldn't get a hold of fellow to have them send me one. I tried, but Anyway, um, so here's a couple things that I, I don't like on all of these ones. Um, inside this one, there's a lot of screws and you cannot, like it's really hard to clean this lid. And as a result of that, it kind of smells a little bit bad. All of these smell a little bit bad because they're hard to fully clean, which is kind of gross. Um, also partly is because I make a drink and then I maybe drink all of it and there's still residue in it and I leave it sit for four days. Um, and then it smells kind of bad and it's really hard to get that smell out, um, but I'm gonna try it a little bit. Um, I really like the slide lock lid, but again, there's so many crevices in there that you that make it really hard to clean. And honestly, when I just kind of look at it, it just really kind of grosses me out um, when I look at how poorly cleaned this one, because I just pulled this from my cabinet and there's like residue all inside the lid that you just can't really get to very easily, which makes it very inconvenient on cleaning. Um, but if I do like these fellow mugs, they're like grown on me. They don't fit in my car cup holder. Um, I'm, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that. Uh, but I feel like now I can safely like recommend buying this 16 ounce one and the slide lock lid and the move lid. And the reason why I would suggest that is because Obviously, if you the bigger the cup you get, the more you can fit in there, um, but you can also still fit less. So if you wanted like a kind of smaller drink here, this is an eight ounce one, you can still fill this with eight ounces and it will still work fine. Um, or if you're just drinking uh, 12 ounces of black coffee, you can still fill that with that or a hot latte, you can still just fill it with 12 ounces and it will be fine. Um, but then you also get the iced options with the 16 ounce here. But you can just simply, have that ice drink with the straw, which I really do like the straw. I, I do like the little details in there. Like they put the word fellow on the straw. I do like that little stopper and like how it keeps it from getting pushed down too far or coming up too much. It's just a really nice 
design. I think it might stay a little bit cleaner um, because you're not like tilting the thing up like the other one. So all of this little crevices, the crevices on this are way less. Like I feel like I can actually get to all of them with a brush versus the 360 or versus the 360 one and um, the slide lock lid. But yeah, you got your hot coffee cup right here. Mostly leak proof, throw it in the side of your bag. You're good to go. You are traveling and you absolutely need a leak proof. You might want to throw it inside of your backpack. And I would actually take this lid, put it on there, fully leak proof. I would throw this in my bag with my camera and books. Um, I would trust it that way. Um, don't blame me if it does uh, spill in there, but I feel like I can confidently trust this throwing inside with a camera, which says a lot. Um, this one, absolutely not. Um, so for the price of this, like 35 bucks for the slide lock, for the mug with the straw, and then like, I think it's like 10 bucks for the lid. So uh, 35, 45, like it's a $55 mug. Um, it is expensive, but they do have that ceramic coating on the inside. It's really nice. It works well. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm actually kind of weird that I'm recommending the fellow mug. I do have another mug called Stoke, um, which I like better than the fellow one personally, but I do like the versatility that you do get with the fellow. You can kind of basically make it for anybody. And I feel like this kind of completed it. Um, I think the only thing when I look at the fellow mugs from here on out, the things that I want to see fellow change on it is <laughs> get rid of the 361 or just make it better. Um, Mirror makes one and it locks. Um, so it's at least leak resistant and it just, it's better. I just like it better. It's more comfortable to drink from. Um, they still need to do some work on it. I'm very particular in mugs if you haven't figured that out. Um, and basically I want to see instructions or a, a better way to clean these things or overall a better design where it's less of a pain in the butt to clean because even this lip on the inside makes that top part kind of difficult to clean and it frustrates me and it irritates me and it makes me not want to recommend these mugs because of how gross they can get because of their a pain in the butt to clean um, which makes me recommend something like the stoke mug um, which unfortunately i don't have sitting right next to me now um, but that one has the ceramic coating on the inside, just like these do to kind of keep the taste more authentic to the drink that you're drinking. And um, it's easier to clean. The threads aren't like as deep and uh, there's not as many crevices in there. It's not the perfect mug still, but it's pretty darn close. But there's something about the design of the Fellow product line in general. Like they just make everything look perfect with each other. Um, like, uh, like for example, this is the kettle um, and this is the mug and they look nice together. Um, that's about all I have to say about it. And they have that fellow Atmos that looks better, the Ode that goes like it just, it's a nice lineup. Like, like there's something about having all of your coffee equipment fellow that just makes me happy because of the way that it looks. Um, and these go perfect with that lineup to kind of round that out. Um, but yeah. New fellow mug with the straw. Probably my first like recommended fellow mug that I don't have problems with recommending, if that makes sense. Um, like cleaning, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than any of the fellow mugs. And it's just a nice, I don't know. I just like it. I mean, I find myself even putting Gatorade in this thing and drinking it. Um, I drink cold drinks fast, um, which that's a problem for 16 ounce drinks. They just go really quickly, but I just, I really like it. Um, and fellow, good job. Um, you did it right on this one. Um, so that's the fellow lineup. If you have any questions about it, um, I also, uh, you can feel free to ask in the comments below. I also have like four or five other videos on these mugs, comparing them to other mugs. Um, I've, I have a lot of travel mugs. If you have any questions about them, let me know. Um, I love making these videos please support me on Patreon so I can buy more of these things and um, that I don't have to debate on spending $35 on a mug to help you guys figure out which one is best for you as a consumer to buy. Um, and lastly, if you made it this far, like and subscribe. You have no idea how much that helps. If you wanna drop a comment below, that also helps me too. Just 
like your support is why I do this. And without that, I wouldn't have um, the finances to be able to go out and buy these products to review for them. Um, all of this, I'm grateful to be able to buy from YouTube uh, income or the pro the company sent it to me and without your support none of that would be a thing and I wouldn't be able to produce these videos for you so I just want to say thank you for allowing me to do this and thank you for watching my content